Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode and it's time for a new block deck. We have played enough with the Izzet deck and it proved itself to be a very competitive deck. So now we want to move one step further and create an even better block deck so we can also finally get to gold rank. So I have created an Innistrad Midnight Hunt block deck and the color combination white black is great because here we have two powerful approaches, removal and card drawing. So let's move on to the strategy of this deck. One of the center aspects here is that we don't run out of cards and that we can also flood the battlefield with useful tokens that we can also sacrifice for example to cast rid of oblivion or we can also just block and draw cards thanks to the fantastic card Morbid Opportunist. Also it's very good together with Adlan Resplendent Qatar and Jadar Ghoul Color of Nephilia. So the goal here is to spam the battlefield with tons of tokens and benefit from the preponderance that we can create here. Let's move on to the creatures. In the center of the stack we have our Morbid Opportunist and whenever one or more other creatures die, we'll draw a card. And this ability triggers only once each turn, so for example we can also kill our opponent's creatures in their turn and we'll also draw a card. And it's a perfect interaction with Jadar, Ghoul Color of Nephilia, that creates at the end of our end step a zombie token with Decayed when we don't have any on the battlefield. Also other cards uh, that are very powerful together with the Morbid Opportunist is Adeline, Resplendent Qatar. And um, yeah, Adeline is also one of my favorite cards here, it's such a powerful card. And Adeline's power is equal to the number of creatures that we control. And it also produces creature, uh, a creature whenever we attack. Uh, for example, it's also perfect when, you, when we attack with a flying creature. It can be their Chaplain of Arms or Lunark Veteran. Um, with their yeah with those flying spirit tokens and will also create more tokens with this creature and yeah and for some life points exactly we have lunar veteran so whenever a, another creature enters the battlefield under our control we'll gain one life and chaplain of arms gives us also a ward if we cast it for four mana uh, for the disturb cost so then it's a flying first strike creature and each creature you control has also ward one intrepid adversary can boost our token army immensely if we pay for example two four or even more mana because for each paid two mana it gets a counter which gives all the creatures plus one plus one lisa forgotten archangel brings our dead creatures back to our hand so we can also cast it another time but then if it dies it will be exiled then we have also Unruly Mob, uh, can be a very fun card and um, I personally prefer it as a huge blocker since it's not very effective without Trample. Also a cool card is Flash Taker here because when we sacrifice a creature, for example with the Zombie Token, with Decade or with Rid of Oblivion, we can also scry for one. So let's take a closer look on the instant and sorcery spells. Here we have some fantastic synergistic cards such as Sunset Revelry, can be very useful Depends on the situation, of course, that uh, we can draw a card, produce two tokens and or gain four life. Then we have a classic removal card, it's Infernal Grasp. Then we have also Can't Stay Away. We can bring a creature with mana value three or less from the graveyard directly onto the battlefield. And I love to play this card in combination with Adeline. So because yeah, it costs only 3 mana and bringing back direct on the battlefield, it's amazing. With Rid of Oblivion we can exile any non-land permanent card unless we sacrifice a non-land permanent card. The last card here is Qatar's Call. Uh, where is that? Qatar's Call, here we have it. Uh, which I mostly attach to some weak creatures or to direct the attention of the opponent. Uh, away from, for example, Adeline or other powerful creatures. As long as it stays on the battlefield, it creates at the end of our turn a token. Then we have here also one artifact, it's Hero Room Miro. Um, here we have this card because I'm struggling with the Shuffler, to be honest. If that, uh, it doesn't matter how many lands you have, if 21, 24, you have games where you draw seven, 17 lands, for example, in a game and you still have 30 cards left in your library. So yeah, it's just unbelievable, unbelievably bad, the Shuffler, so that's why I want to have more control into this, in the stack. And the Mirror lets us pay one life, discard one card and we'll draw a card. And it gets a Ritual Counter, if it has three or more, then we can transform it and we will get a 4-4 Flying Creature. 
lands yeah the problem here in this um set is we have only 12 planes and 11 swamps no double land cards uh for orzov unfortunately but yeah we have to live with that and yeah i really like to play with this deck and yeah you will see some amazing games so stay with us and yeah subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching see you next time bye bye So here we go, our mission to reach gold is ongoing and yeah, that's a great hand. We have free lands, also we have the Morbid Opportunist and together with Jadar it's perfect. So every time we are uh, sacrificing our Zombie 2-2 with Decayed, um, yeah, we will draw a card. So yeah, Goblin Tomb Raider, Raid Tomb Raider, nice. <laughs> so yeah, let's play uh, Jadar, Ghoul Color of Nephilia. Okay, so this creature is not very dangerous to us. And we have also rid of Oblivion two copies. So actually, oh, they just killed the zombie instead of Jadar. Hmm. Okay, very, that's very uh, uncommon actually. They should have aimed for Jadar. So anyway, maybe they have something, um, maybe they have some other plans for this creature. But um, yeah, Rid of Oblivion is also great with Jadar because we can just uh, sacrifice those zombie tokens. Let's uh, cast Morbid Opportunist. So now if they are aiming also for Jadar, yeah, we'll get at least, uh, we can at least draw a card here. And Sticky Fingers, so we are playing also against the Mono Red tag, Lightning Strike. Ah, they killed the Morbid Opportunist. Anyway, we have a second copy. Unruly Mob. And... Yeah, I think we will... Cast Morbid Opportunist. I think it's the better choice here. So, now when we at uh, attack with the zombie with Decayed, we'll draw a card. And... Next turn we can also cast Unruly... Oh, okay, we have a second copy of Unruly Mob. Actually, we can put both copies on the battlefield. Oh, oh, I don't like this card. Yeah, the Goblin King. And they also might cast it from the graveyard. So, I think we should get rid of this card by casting rid of Oblivion. So, let's sacrifice the token. Because this can escalate very quickly. Yeah, whenever they attack with it, they create a goblin. And yeah, in okay. And the best thing is, uh, with rid of oblivion, we don't um, put this creature on the graveyard. It will be exiled instead, so they are not able to cast it also from the grave uh, from the graveyard. Yes. Oh, Urabrask Forge. Oh, very powerful. I'm also um, my plan is also to make a uh, deck with this card because. Every turn you're getting a counter and then also the token creature is getting always bigger. Uh, the toughness is staying always at one, but power is always increasing. So I was thinking maybe, yeah, what can we do here? A Gruul deck? Red, green? So the good thing is, ah yeah. <laughs> Whenever they create the token, it has to be sacrificed at the end of the turn. So we will also benefit from this through Morbid's uh, opportunist ability here. And I just noticed that uh, recently this card is playing uh, is being played a lot. You can find it almost in every deck. And yeah, Urobrask's Forge, you can just imagine you are getting a creature. And the most effective uh, about this creature is yeah, it has also trample. Uh, it can, yeah, it can grow very fast, and then it has also trample. So it doesn't, yeah, it's not very beneficial if we are going to um, to block with a one-one creature token. But in this case, as long as we have morbid opportunist, we'll just benefit from this because they have to sacrifice it. Otherwise, we can also use Rid of Oblivion and Exile also this enchantment card. I, I mean, actually, it's an artifact. So, let's attack with the entire army. Down to two. So, I think that's it. 
Yeah, we have still 21 life points. Wow, after this game, if we if we are going to win this game, we are just one win away from yeah entering gold rank. So yeah, they are going to attack us. Ah yeah, they are aiming for the battlefield siege battlefield card and morbid opportunist. Ah, amazing card. I love car uh, creatures that you um, that allow you to draw cards. And in this case, whenever a creature dies, it doesn't matter if it's only ours, but also the opponent. So we will also draw a card. So it's very effective. So GG. Uh, do we have to make any changes here? Um, let me check. Maybe we should, because we are playing against the mono red deck, vanquish the horde. Maybe one. Co <laughs> to be honest, anyway, it's one zero. We want to win this game without wipe out cards. Noble Wolfgar. So yeah, it's even harder right now. To be the second uh, player against a mono red deck now. So what have what can we do here? We can turn one. We can cast Chaplain of Arms. Turn two, Unruly Mob, and turn three, Morbid or Partonist. Mountain Rabbit Battery. Oh yeah, Chaplain of Arms of course is first strike. They are not going to attack, but instead we are going to attack now. One damage. Electrostatic Infantry, one of my favorite cards when I was um, creating a deck uh, from the Dominaria set. Yeah, every time you are casting an instant or sorcery spell, it gets a plus one plus one counter and it has also trample. So, a great card. Yeah, it's really bad for them because we st we uh, yeah we have another morbid opportunist on the battlefield. Uh, exactly at that time, they have also Urabrask Forge, so yeah, it cannot be even worse for them. So yeah, and also intrepid adversary gives all the creatures plus one plus one. And and then we can also still we have infernal grasp. I think I will keep that card, for example, for the Goblin King. Electrostatic infantry again. So hmm, very unusual. Ah, okay, here is the instant spell, killing the unruly mob. Goblin Tomb Raider. And then they will attack with three creatures here, I see. Oh, only with that. Okay, so two damage to us. Yeah, Morbid Opportunist will save us, I guess. Yeah, we can draw cards, then add a line. And we have also Infernal Grasp. And also Sunset Revelry, but in this case, hmm, I mean, we are not getting tokens, we are not drawing cards, and also no life points. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is Electrostatic Infantry has Toughness 3. Okay, the good thing is we have waited here. So before the they are going to attack, I think we should cast Infernal Grasp and let me see mm. creates a 1-1 one, one red goblin ah. I'm just thinking which one of these we have to eliminate okay if it's like that we can just easily block with Adeline We'll draw a card and then... I mean, okay, the 
dubious monarch is maybe not as dangerous as I thought at the beginning. But still, for example, we can exile, yeah, exile the king, so they're not able to cast it from the graveyard. Um, and then Morbid Opportunist again. Let's see, we can attack with Adeline. So they have to sacrifice, let me see, yeah, both electrostatic infantries to kill it. So two damage, and then, yeah, the problem is Sunset Revelry is very, I mean, we cannot do anything with this card. Yeah, it's most effective actually at the beginning. Um, Especially when the opponent is starting the game. Yeah, even even though they have a 4-1 um, creature token, it's not so effective. And they have to sacrifice always. And yeah, I've, that's the weakness. That's the weakness when you're having morbid opportunist. I mean, they have to sacrifice. And then we will always draw cards. And you can see how, how many cards we already have in our hand. Also a lot of lands. Chaplain of Arms. Let's create. And that's it. GG. Oh my god. Awesome. First I was... Yeah, I thought we will struggle a little bit against Mono Red decks because they are very fast. But yeah, we managed it somehow. Wow, we are so close to gold rank. I think, yeah, hopefully we will all, uh, already manage it in the next game. So yeah, stay with us and let's see if we are going to manage it. I will still play with this uh, cleric deck, uh, with the Orzov deck. And let's see if we are going to manage it uh, to get also in gold rank. It would be fantastic. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, um, leave a like and see you next time. Bye bye.